Today we're here in Wicker Park, one of the most vibrant, ever-changing, unique neighborhoods in the city of Chicago. And we're actually here in the park that is called Wicker Park and what this area is named after. This is Grigory Pikarski with Best of Preferred. And today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite neighborhoods in the entire city, Wicker Park. Located on the west side of Chicago, Wicker Park is known as the bustling art scene, the trendy dining, and the boutique shopping. The area is named after Charles G. Wicker and his brother Joel H. Wicker, two developers who bought a parcel of land in the area in 1870. The brothers began their development project with the design and layout of a four-acre public park that they donated to the city, giving Wicker Park its name. Over time, the area has transformed from being a German and Scandinavian immigration hub in the late 19th century to a vibrant multicultural neighborhood that it is today. Fun fact, in September of 2012, Forbes article stated that Wicker Park was named the number four hipster neighborhood in the country. Pretty cool. Here's some things to do from parks, outdoor space and community events. First on our list is the neighborhood's namesake, the gorgeous Wicker Park. Picnic under the leafy canopy, read a book by the fountain, really pretty fountain, or join one of the community events hosted there. Also the 606 beautiful elevated urban trail is perfect for joggers, bikers, for those simply looking for a leisurely walk with fantastic city views, repurposed from an old actual raised railroad line. This trail offers a unique perspective on the city's industrial past, and current modern nature. At the heart of Chicago's Wicker Park neighborhood stands the iconic flat iron arts building. This architectural gem is a thriving sanctuary for artists, housing, and a diverse range of studios within its walls. Here, creativity flourishes in the myriad forms from the visual arts and filmmaking to tattooing and custom design. Art walks are held on the first Friday of every month, so plan your visit accordingly. You can actually come in and visit them, see what they got going on, and see the local artist community in person, which is really cool. Wicker Park is home to a food scene that's also diverse and vibrant as the neighborhood itself. Whether you crave gourmet donuts, super tasty, mouth-watering tacos from Big Star, incredible outdoor patio, by the way, in the summertime, or delicious ice cream from Jenny's, Wicker Park has got you covered. A little secret about Wicker Park is that you can be at the Roby Hotel here on the Six Corners and it's called the Cabana Club and it is fully accessible for the public where you can just enjoy a nice drink, poolside, and the views of the city are incredible. So if you're in Wicker Park, check out the Cabana Club at the Roby. Now, real estate. Wicker Park is a booming hub for real estate and for new developments. Over the last few years, the neighborhood has seen a conversion of old factory buildings and warehouses into chic loft apartments and condos. You know that raised 606 line? Well, the reason why we have an old train line that runs through Wicker Park is because all of those old manufacturing spots is where the train would pick up the goods and deliver it, and now they've turned into condos and apartments. There's also historic Victorian era houses which have been restored and maintained to preserve their timeless appeal. Commercial developments also have made a stride with a host of trendy boutique art galleries, renowned restaurants, finding their way into Wicker Park. New construction is carefully curated to maintain the area's distinctive character while accommodating its growth. The uniqueness of real estate cannot be understated uh, or overstated with Wicker Park. It is some of the coolest houses and style of development that you can find. Mixed use developments have become quite popular, combining retail, residential, and office spaces to create a vibrant, walkable community. Despite concerns over affordability and the rapid pace of change, Wicker Park continues to become an attractive market for real estate investors and home buyers seeking a lively, artistic, and diverse neighborhood. Now, here's some average prices. For average price of single family homes, you can get it somewhere around a million dollars. You always will do less, but about a million to 1.2 is what you can expect. Average price of a condo, for two bedrooms, you're looking about 500,000, one bedroom about 400,000, 300,000. 
uh, and then three bedrooms are 700,000 plus. And then the average use of a multi-unit building, of course, it always depends on the quality and style and the amount of rent that it's getting, but you can get anywhere from 700,000 to in the millions, easily. Chicago continues to expand so on this Wicker Park. Keep an eye out for new developments that are shaping the skyline and defining the future of this vibrant neighborhood. And that's a wrap on Wicker Park. I hope you enjoyed it. This area is where creativity thrives. You have old Chicago, modern Chicago colliding into one. And I hope that you learned a little something, you enjoyed your time watching. And if you liked, if you had any comments, just shoot us a note, give us a like, give us some love. I'd love to hear about what your thoughts are. What's your favorite neighborhood of Chicago? Is it Wicker Park? Is it another one? I'd love to hear more from you. Talk to you guys soon.